Hey, Mac. What's up, G? Do you know what happens when you start early? I do, G. You go wealthy. It's, It's time, time for Money with, with Mac and G. Finance for you and your family. Our tax calculation is done. We paid our taxes and we should be past Freedom Tax Day. Yeah, a big sigh of relief. Dad's feeling better and things are back on track. Definitely better and great to have that behind us. So, what do you think the government does now? What do you mean? Okay, the federal government just collected $3.5 trillion dollars and it's probably burning a hole in their pocket. Yeah, if it were me, I'd be so excited to even think about that much money. Yippee, 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 yippee. That would be awesome. I could literally buy enough chocolate to stack it to the moon and back a hundred times. Yummy. I could buy over 60 billion games. And if I played them for a minute apiece, it would take me 30 years if I didn't sleep. That would be awesome. Awesome! Well, we wouldn't get the money to spend, but it's really fun to think about. There are about 330 million people in the U.S. who are counting on the government to spend it wisely. Yeah, I know, but if I spent it, I would make a lot of kids, teenagers, and some adults very happy with free video games. And they would all be happy. Happy, happy, happy! With a little chocolate in their tummies. Do you have any idea what all that cabbage is spent on? I calculated that it would weigh 1 million tons, and you would need over 44,018 wheel trucks to carry it all. Holy cow, that's a lot. That's huge. I think it would probably be spent on a whole bunch of adult stuff, I'm sure. Yeah, but I want to know where it goes. It's our money, right? Or at least Dad's money. Agree. So, where does the federal government in Washington spend it? Beats me, but they probably don't spend it on specific local projects, like the park across the street. This is new for me, and I think it's going to be interesting. I agree, but the park does need a new baseball field. And a swing set. I know who could help us figure this out. Me too. Dad! How do you spend, spend a $3.5 trillion? Dollars? What is that smell? Dad, I thought you said you'd take a shower today. You do know you're quarantined for corona with other people. Pee you! Well, I'm enjoying myself a bit. The taxes are done, and I deserve a little downtime. Seriously, what is that? It smells like you took your workout clothes from last week, dipped them in the toilet, and let them sit a couple more weeks in the sun baking. Ouch, that hurts. My sweat smells like roses. It's not me. Are you sure something didn't dine here? Like a small elephant? <coughs> you do know this is where we eat, right? Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Are you really drinking wine with that smell? Well, I thought Grant wouldn't mind at all. Have you ever smelled his room when he hasn't picked up his socks for a week? Dad! This is a whole new level kind of smell. Kind of the same intensity as a Grim Reaper Pepper's hot. Well, after thinking about the podcast last week on taxes, you mentioned a French guy who invented the parachute. How does that have anything to do with this smell? Here it comes. Oh, you can put it right there. Thank you, honey. OMG. That is awful! It smells like a bag of farts! Mom's even got a clothespin on her nose. I think I'm gonna gag. Isn't it great? Stinky cheese, baby. I got a couple from France. Uh -huh. Vive la France! Germany, the United Kingdom, and more. Oh, gross! Some of those smell horrible, and some just look nasty. What are they? Well, I have Munster, Brie, Limburger, Stinking Bishop, I like the name of that one, and a couple others. Several are raised in a cold cellar, and the outside of the cheese is washed with salt water. They probably put them in a cellar because they look and smell nasty. Ever thought of that, Dad? Well, I don't care. France has over 1,600 cheeses. Heaven, I say, sheer heaven. And there are about 50 blue cheeses out there. Do you know my favorite? Oh, no, you didn't say that. Roquefort. We know. And right there in the middle is a big slice of it. Look at all that blue. 
Lots of penicillium in that one. And when I was in France, I used to... We know B&B every day. A baguette in blue. Your bread and cheese fix. After eating it, you probably had lots of gas and came up with the name Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. So what do you guys want other than to harass me? Did you mention trillions of dollars? We did. Now that you're done with taxes and the government is paid, what do they do with all that money? The federal government tries to spend money that helps the entire country, while state and local governments usually focus on more specific items closer to home. Told ya! Hey, I told you! In your face! Okay, let's not get in a fight. Do either of you have any idea what the federal government might pay for? Not sure, but they probably put together a budget first. Excellent point, Mac. They will estimate tax revenue and where to spend it. Income taxes, as we know, are the biggest part of all the taxes, but not everything. So, any ideas where they spend it? No clue. Nada. Zilch. Zippo. Zero. Okay, so you don't know. The federal government spends most of it taking care of people. Grant. Crazy enough, the government pays for stuff you try to get in your battle video games. If that's true, Grant will nail this. Okay, after watching you, G, I think the top two things you look for in Fortnite covers most of the money that the government spends. No way. Yep, give me the first one you search for. Well, you have to have a good weapon. That can't be one, can it? Actually, that's part of defending our country. Our cousin Jenna is in the Navy. Would the federal government pay for that part of our defense too? And does that mean all those people in the Army? Uh, two, three, four. Navy, Air Force, and Marines? Would it cover all the tanks, boats, planes, and guns too? It pays for all the weapons and those things in the armed forces. A state couldn't pay all the money needed to keep the country safe and secure. That's why the federal government does it. That's got to be a huge number. Yep, it's getting close to $700 billion, but it does change each year. It's about 15% of the total budget. However, that's not the biggest. Okay, so what is the biggest? Grant, what's something else you look for that's important when trying to stay alive in your battle games? Well, it's got to be heels. Did you say meals? Dad, he said heels, like short for healing. <coughs> okay, that's perfect. So you're searching for medical power to keep you healthy. Well, the government spends our taxes to help take care of people. And health care is the biggest expense. Is health care like heals? If it's something to heal you when you're sick or hurt, yep. Okay, do you remember when Grandma Harris went breakdancing? What are you talking about? She's never done that. Well, she did break her hip. Dancing, right? So she was hurt and went to get a hip replacement. Okay, Dad. She did not fall. Oh! She hurt her hip walking. Okay, but I love teasing Grandma Harris. She's probably listening right now. Well, Grandma, like many older Americans, have something called Medicare, which is short for medical care insurance for those over 65. So the federal government pays for insurance, which covers some medical costs? Yep. And if you're in need of medical aid because you don't have any money, there's something called Medicaid for short. This is covered by state and federal government. So how much is the health care for those who are older and those who don't have enough money to pay themselves? Well, that's over $1.2 trillion, which is about twice the amount we spend on defense and the military. Sounds like those three add up to more than half of all the federal taxes collected. Big stuff. But it is great to see that people are getting taken care of. I agree. The next big one is called Social Security, which isn't in your game. It's a way of giving those who stop working when they're older a little security that they'll have money to buy food, clothes, and housing. So, our grandmas get money from the government for Social Security? Ah, uh, give me your money, you whippersnapper! They sure do, but they pay special taxes from their paycheck throughout their life. The government holds on to it and gives it back in small amounts when we're older. Is that to make sure older people have some money? That's when they retire from working many years? It is, and that's almost another trillion dollars. That sounds like the biggest one. If you don't combine Medicare and Medicaid into one amount for health care, it absolutely is. 
There's also money to help others who don't have much money or who have lost their jobs, too. I would think helping others is good. Who are those people? Well, there are food stamps, which act like money, so people who don't have much can buy food. Those sound like great programs. What if you lost your job and can't find one? If you were employed and lose your job, then you're unemployed. When that happens, both federal and state together give you money to help you get through it until you find another job. Okay, so we have defense, health care, money for old people who retire, and unemployment insurance. Mac, Social Security is the money for old people. Ah, uh, give me your money, you whippersnapper! Yeah, right, I forgot. They get money so they have security, so they can buy food, clothing, and other stuff. There are two more, too. The first has several items in it all together. What's that? Well, money is used to build stuff we all use like roads, sewage, water, and electrical systems. Then there's money for scientific research, education, and some other stuff. Okay, I know what roads, water, and electricity is, but what's sewage? It's how we pump out and handle all the poop and pee that comes out of our toilets. Gross. Well, you asked. Would any of this money go to fight diseases like corona? Yep, that would be where scientists study diseases. That's called scientific research. It's pretty important, too. I am the very smart person. Well, I'm glad they spend money on that. Now I'm saving the best for last. Our government doesn't live by the budget they put together and spend more money than we take in. So how does the government make up the difference? Well, they can actually do one of two things. They can just print more money or borrow it. They can seriously turn on a printing press and make more money? Yep, but that requires a bit more explanation, so we need to cover that another time. The second thing they can do is sell bonds. I remember that from another podcast. If they sell you a bond, you give them money, and they will promise to return it in the future with interest. So, that's a loan. Whoever buys a bond gives the government money, and the government pays it back. So, how much money do we pay in interest for these bonds? About $350 billion. Show me the money! Ouch! <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't borrow as much. Well, sometimes the government does like to spend money. We'll see that in our next podcast. It's scary to me, so just wait and see. Okay, I'm done. I can't handle any more spending for one day. Same for me. Talk to you later, Dad. And don't forget to brush your teeth after your stinky cheese party. I will, I promise. Maybe a little mouthwash too, Mac. Perfecto. Thanks, Dad! The federal government collects about $3.5 trillion in taxes. The biggest amount collected is from income tax, and after that is all those payroll taxes for Social Security and Medicare, as we spoke about. However, the government tends to spend more than it takes in. Depending on the year and what's going on, it can be a lot. Some figures show an approximate $900 billion overspending in 2019. For our own personal budget, that leads to debt, which makes it harder the following year to stay within our spending. This is primarily due to interest payments, which we touched on, or for the government printing more money. That requires a slightly longer discussion. Overall, we have Medicare and Medicaid, Social Security, and Defense. Now those, added together, make up the biggest portion of our spending. There is definitely money spent on infrastructure, which are roads, buildings, water, sewage, and electrical systems, along with education and some other items. The big takeaway is about 70% is mandatory spending for the items we've already committed to. That doesn't leave us with much flexibility. As we'll find out in our next podcast, government spending can go through the roof. But it will mean printing money or taking on debt in the form of government bonds. This is a great podcast to understand more about our government, and I hope it helps you to understand where all the money goes. Thanks for being here, and remember to subscribe, like, and give us your comments. Yippee! We love those. And we'll see you next time for another episode of Money with Mac and G with great money insights for you and your family. <laughs>